What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about former Norwegian Prime Minister Jens Stoltenberg driving a taxi undercover. <laughs> From what I understand, in 2013, Jens Stoltenberg made a video where he went undercover as a taxi driver and was just driving everyday normal people around town in his taxi <laughs> without them knowing. Uh, I, I gotta say, as an American, this is awesome. Here in the United States, like, our politicians would never do this. Our politicians would never do something this fun. Uh, regardless of what your thoughts on Jens Stoltenberg are, I have to commend Norway, Norwegian politicians, and like King Harald, and just people in power in Norway seem a lot more relatable, a lot more down to earth, a lot more normal compared to the people in power in the United States. And I really, really appreciate that about Norway. And so I was real excited to take a look at this video from 2013 where Norway's Prime Minister, Jen Stoltenberg, it, th this is a campaign video. Like, I understand he's doing this for marketing or whatever, but just just the fact that he did this is awesome and funny. So I want to see, he, he goes undercover as a taxi driver ahead of the elections coming in, in September. All right, <laughs> let's, let's take a look. I don't know if people are going to, like, freak out or... <laughs> if they... Re don't people recognize him or... Let's see. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, there he is. There he is, the Prime Minister. Oh, they don't notice. I mean, why would you? I mean, I mean, if you just got into a taxi on a random day, why would you expect uh, uh, the leader of your country to be sitting, <laughs> to, why would you expect the leader of your country to be sitting in the front seat driving you around? Um, all this, although this guy does look like he's staring at him, though, right here. Oh, he's really staring at him. Oh, he looks scared. What? And them? amazed that uh immediately it seems like many of the people even though they're just seeing the back of his head is he that famous you have to be really 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 famous for people to see the back of your head and be like i think i know that guy i <laughs> uh, see personally as an american i don't know anything about jen stoltenberg so it's kind of hard for me to relate to but obviously if he's prime minister People are going to recognize him. I, I didn't think they would recognize him that quickly. And this man, some of them are just staring. This guy is just like no nonsense. He's like, you look a lot like Jen Stoltenberg. Has anyone ever told you that? You, you look a lot like... <laughs> this is great. Wait, I'm actually like a little surprised that their reaction is so tame. Their reactions are not as extreme as I would have thought. Is that a Norwegian thing? Or, like, if this was an American president driving your taxi, people, Americans would be, like, flipping off the wall. Like, they'd be just screaming and, like, maybe in shock, maybe, like, faint or, like, starstruck. But maybe this just says something about Norway. The, a lot of these people are just uh, seeing him. They, they understand who he is. And some of these people are just like, oh, yeah, haha, <laughs> cool, cool, that's Stoltenberg, cool. That is, that's like a Norwegian thing or something. Oh, he takes a See, he's like, <laughs> he's laughing. 
Øyepartiet kanskje? Det er kanskje bare Øyepartiet. Nå ser jeg da. Ja, men fy faen det lindes! Hæ? Men hæ? Hæ er det? Hva? Uh, I love how Norwegians react to this. This is not at all what I thought would happen. They are laughing. They're like, they're very comfortable. Like he's a friend or something. That is not what I expected. I thought people were going to like freak out and be like, oh my God, what is going on? Uh, but they're just having a really good time. It's very genuine. Uh, again, like... Maybe Norwegians just perceive politicians in a different way. They're acting a lot more like he's their friend or something than than he's a celebrity or anything. <laughs> <laughs> they high fived. Oh, we're going to drive a taxi. Oh, from Pussy. So no way. What? This is. I can't believe this. Like, he's the prime minister. At the time of this video, he's the prime minister of Norway, of the country. These pe these Norwegians are just, like, joking with him. Like, haha, I guess you're driving taxis part-time, huh? It's such a friendly, casual relationship. I've never seen something like this. This is so different than how we perceive politicians in America. In America, politicians are like celebrities or something. Honestly, I kind of like this. This is probably how it should be in a healthy relationship between people and those in power. What? This is fantastic. This is She's like, oh, good. I wanted to send you a letter. Now I can. <laughs> what? Think and try to motivate students without characters also. Yeah, of course, you follow the the rules that are set by both the state and the county. But how it is managed is also very different. That's the whole point of school politics. It's to make sure that both the flinker and the extra will be better, and the ones who slit a little get extra help. Oh, wow. Um, he's like just having conversations with them, like casual, like talking about policy and helping people. And he's uh, very, very down to earth, very personable. I, I guess I understand why he was prime minister for such a long time. Uh, this is really almost bizarre to me, like just as an American, seeing this is actually kind of eye opening uh, in, in a way I didn't expect. Oh. People are staring at him. Will you stemme to Østen? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's important. Are you agree with me in all the stuff? No, I swear I'm not agree with you. No, I swear. You're not agree with me. No. Oh my gosh. And he's... Uh, they're, they're like debating oil policy. And he's like, no, I don't agree. <laughs> but, you know, the ability to like have conversation and cordially disagree and stuff is also a very nice attribute. They're just having a... A conversation. This is so funny. Pratte om skolen så glemte jeg litt at det var de som kjørte. Ja, det er bra da. Det var først. They're just talking with them. They're just literally chatting. They're, 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 not, they're not afraid to just have a conversation with him, which is awesome. That's awesome. Maybe that's weird for Norwegians to hear. I think a lot of Americans would be too nervous or too starstruck to, to have conversations with our politicians. If if we were in the same scenario, uh, this video actually is showing me a lot more about Norwegian culture and Norwegian politics. Uh, it's teaching me a lot more than I thought. I thought this was just going to be a funny video. It's actually teaching me something. Oh my god. This is fantastic. He's actually just having conversations with them about policies and stuff. Like just a normal like person-to-person -person conversation. 
That's really cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's why he is not a professional taxi driver. <laughs> right there. He hasn't driven in eight years? What? Why? What, does he take, does he get driven around or something? Oh my god, eight years. This is kind of, I'd be kind of nervous. True, true. I mean, I know Norway at least has a lot of political parties in America. There's really only two parties. Two! Two! So, no one is ever going to fit perfectly into to two political parties. So it's even exaggerated here in America what, what he is saying. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually quite enjoying um, how casual and down-to-earth this whole video turned out to be. It's, it's very refreshing, actually. It kind of makes me think about, in America, we, we put too much, like... We put people on pedestals and act like they're not normal. We act like politicians and celebrities are like superhumans or something, and they're just normal people. And I think Norwegians understand that. Wow. <laughs> That's fun. This guy's funny. He's like, I'm going to vote for you now. <laughs> Thanks for the taxi ride. I'm going to vote for you. I mean, honestly, this was a really valuable experience for a lot of the Norwegians. Uh, they used their time very well. They weren't shy. They were just asking him questions about policy and politics and... They... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. And there you go. Oh my gosh. That was really fascinating. Uh, I actually want to look at some of the comments on this video to see what people thought of Jens Stoltenberg uh, driving around in the taxi. Um, so you agree with me on oil policy? No, the Socialist Party agrees with you. It's good to see he's honest and doesn't say things just to please people. Yeah, he seemed... I don't know anything about him, and I'm not going to pretend I understand Norwegian politics, but he seemed like a nice enough guy uh, that was being straightforward with people. What are... It's remarkable none of the passengers are starstruck. I know! I know... Exactly! None of the passengers are starstruck. They're not... They're not <laughs> amazed. They're not speechless. I, it's, it speaks volumes about the country of Norway, its leadership and its people. I think the leadership in Norway is a lot more down to earth, a lot more normal than the leadership in the United States. Definitely. 100%. Now that I've seen this, this has opened my eyes. This is why Norway is still Norway. Any other world leaders cannot do this without some guy threatening their life. True! I mean, that's very true. In America, that's another reason you would not see this video happen in America. Because uh, politicians would be too nervous about, yeah, there are a lot of people that would uh, want to do harm to them. Because pol politics is so divisive and extreme and so polarizing here in America. This, it seems like in Norway, people are at least willing to talk to each other and listen. You know, wow. This gives me a smile. Prime Minister, is the Prime Minister job not paying the bills, huh? <laughs> uh, no matter the regulations or beliefs, I find this to be very humble. How a Prime Minister is literally having normal conversations with a citizen listening to their problems. Exactly. Exactly. This is really eye-opening as an American to see this. I really like this. All the passengers should be proud of having had a trip with Jen Stoltenberg. May we pray for him? Thank you so much. Very nice. 
Uh, I visited Norway. It was fun. People are so nice. It's so wholesome how the old lady was going to send him a letter. <laughs> this was the most wholesome political video I've seen in my whole life. I absolutely agree with that. It really was. Uh, not what I expect. I thought this was just going to be a funny prank video with uh, Norwegians like getting shocked and just be like, oh my God, it's Jen Stoltenberg. Oh my God, I can't believe it. And, and freaking out. That's not what it was. The Norwegians were happy. They were laughing. Then they were talking. They were having conversation and acting like this was kind of normal, uh, which I think is really, really, really healthy. I really, really like that. Um, I love that that is the relationship between Norwegians and the people that they vote into positions of power and leadership. That should be the relationship, person to person. Everyone's just a person. Everyone's normal, and we can all talk. That's amazing. I wish it was more like that here in America, but it was really fun to see that's how it's like in Norway. That's awesome. That was really, really fun video, actually. I enjoyed that. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment, perhaps with your thoughts on this video and Jen Stoltenberg doing this and anything like that would be interesting to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.